Hello, and it's cooking with Dee and family in the background. Baby's down for a nap, my son's upstairs, and so today we're going to be making some stewed beef with potatoes, carrots, and onions with a little bit of gravy. White rice, and we'll find another vegetable to cook, but mainly I'm just gonna be showing you how to make the stewed beef with potatoes and carrots. So first I'm gonna tell you what ingredients you're gonna need. You're going to need some red potatoes and in here we have about I would say three to four medium size small to medium size red potatoes cut up and quartered we have a half a medium onion two cups of beef broth and we have a bag of carrots which we're only going to use a half a bag of carrots and we also have two pounds of stewed beef which is just the um, beef stew, and we've seasoned it already. We've washed it and we've seasoned it. And the seasonings that we have used are a little seasoned salt, a little adobo, a little kosher salt. We have some Montreal steak. We have garlic salt, thyme, and cumin seed. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna pan sear our stewed beef for a couple minutes before we put it in our crock pot. We've put about a half a teaspoon of our grapeseed oil into our pan with about a half a teaspoon of garlic. And so now we're gonna let this heat up really well and we're gonna pour our stewed beef, our cubed beef, stewed beef, um, either way you call it, we're gonna pour it into the pan and we're gonna let it pan sear for a couple minutes. It's pan searing up really nicely. We're just gonna turn them over a little bit. Let them pan sear, and they only need to pan sear for about two to three minutes. So our beef is pan seared for about three minutes, making sure it gets brown on each side. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our meat, our stewed beef that's been pan seared for about three minutes, we're gonna put it into our crock pot. So we have our pan seared stewed beef in our crock pot. Wow, that looks good. And guess what? I tasted a piece and it's so juicy. And again, what pan searing does is it locks those juices in there so that your meat is nice and juicy and tender. Now we're going to add our half a medium onion. We've also added our three to four um, medium sized red potatoes cut up and quartered. We've also added a half a bag of um, carrots, which is probably gonna be about, mm, I'd say about one cup, which one bag is about 16 ounces, so you just need eight ounces of carrots. And we're gonna add two cups of beef broth. Now that we've added all of our ingredients in our crock pot, we're just gonna cover our crock pot and we're gonna let our put our stewed beef on low and we're gonna let it cook as long as it needs to until it becomes tender. And the next time you see us, we're gonna have stewed beef with potatoes, carrots, and onions. And we're gonna make a little gravy on it. Well, we're back and our stewed beef has been cooking for a good little while. And so now what we've done is we've taken the juice from the stewed beef and uh, let's see if we can show you a little picture here mm, look at that we've taken the juice from the stewed beef and we've put it into our pot which of course was the juices that the stewed beef made itself and then we had our two cups of beef broth and now what we're going to do is we're going to make our gravy with our gravy, what we're gonna need is, I took two heaping tablespoons of flour and I added water to it. And I made it a real good consistency. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pour it into the juice, the um, beef broth, and we're gonna now begin to form our gravy and thicken our gravy. So now we've made our gravy and it's thickening. And next what we're gonna do is it's gonna thicken even more as it cooks with the beef. So now we're gonna add our gravy back to our stewed beef with potatoes and carrots. And there we have it. We have our stewed beef with carrots and potatoes and that's our finished product. And now I'm just gonna let it simmer and cook on down just a little bit more and then we'll be ready to eat it. So that's what you have. You have your stewed beef with carrots 
and potatoes. And once again, all you're gonna need is about two pounds of stewed beef. You wanna put a tablespoon of, a tablespoon of grapeseed oil, a teaspoon of garlic, pan sear your meat for about two to three minutes. Once you pan sear your meat, just put it in the crock pot, add a half of medium onion, about three to four red potatoes cut and quartered, and a half a bag, which is about eight ounces of carrots, and you wanna let it stew down and cook in about two cups of beef broth. And once that's done and it's cooked down, what you wanna do is you wanna take your juice, your beef broth back off of your meat, and you wanna make some gravy, and you wanna use two heaping tablespoons of flour, add water to it, let it boil, and once you let it boil, add it back to your beef in the crock pot and let it cook for as long as you want it to until it becomes even more tender, and then you're ready to eat. So that's all for today for our stewed beef with carrots and red potatoes.